Up next, I would like to introduce um, Alexei Timoshuk, who I believe also spoke yesterday. Alexei received an MA in French and in English and a PhD in philosophy at the Institute of Philosophy at the Russian Academy of Sciences and is currently a professor uh, in the Department of Social and Human Sciences in the Vladimir branch of RENEPA, which I'm guessing is the Russian Academy for NEPA. I don't know what the end the NEE. The presidential Academy. <laughs> He's published numerous articles and presented at international conferences on the topic of the Vaishnav tradition. And he is also a founding member of the Bhaktivedanta Institute in Russia. He will be speaking today uh, on the topic of Vedic or scientific and correlation of worldviews in the Bhaktivedanta Institute. I believe he's speaking online, yes? Which means he will not be able yes. to see karate smile. Uh, means if he's running over time, he's in danger. Yeah, I will be. I, I will be feeling your karate okay. force uh, just on the distance. No. How, how to? How can we combine two approaches, uh, Vedic or scientific? Does it mean that all Vedic can be scientific or not? Uh, that's uh, the issue I want to address. And uh, just a disclaimer. I, I may be wrong, but uh, from my observation in vast or in communicating with the uh, scholars and in ISKCON, I, I would uh, suppose that there is a worldwide uh, BI, like uh, mostly in centers like USA, Britain, and Belgium, Radadesh, which is global. It communicates standard science and almost has no politics. Whereas uh, from my observation, what I think is Indian BI, I received many invitations in Delhi or like yesterday there was a presentation about their conference elsewhere. But uh, um, this is this is something like a different BI and different methodology because it is sounds sometimes too Indian, too indigenous, too parochial, sectarian, less standardized. They promote religion, very much politically biased. So uh, here's Hiranand uh, Goswami. So I would support his uh, idea of uh, Krishna West because uh, and BI West since. Uh, I may be wrong. I want to be wrong, but uh, what, uh, what I, I I want to say that uh, uh, like uh, uh, interpretation of Vedic and scientific is more like what we have in uh, BI worldwide, whereas uh, we very often BI in India they use Vedic uh, as a, for for political reasons, like uh, now BGP propagates in this glorious scientific past. Um, I have a hypothesis that um, humanities prevail in BI conferences. Uh, I've heard this many times, this statement, I may be wrong, but Hiranand Maharaj, he was uh, saying like this, Karam Prabhu, that devotees are most successful in the knowledge, although Prabhupada wanted natural sciences from BI, uh, that, that we also know this from the history of BI. And all, uh, we know this, uh, many, many goals were set connected with natural sciences, not with humanities. And uh, let's uh, try and see what uh, what is the agenda, what is uh, the uh, what topics are offered uh, in different conferences. I'm just checking the the, the, the one that is most uh, known to us, that is more close to us, and is very successful, I think, uh, consciousness and science. And uh, I found that uh, around. 12 uh, reports were on natural sciences and out of 26 reports in, in, in other humanities. So this uh, agrees with the hypothesis that uh, humanities are more popular. It doesn't mean that they're not important. They're very important. Again, uh, quoting uh, Hernando Maharaj that uh, we need more religious uh, sciences. We need more hermeneutics like Krishna Kshatra Swami was telling. We need more um, religious studies, social studies, economic studies uh, to enhance this con. It's, 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 it's quite natural to say, uh, whereas uh, still um, uh, Shilprada set a goal of natural sciences uh, should be more. Um, uh, in other conferences, uh, in, uh, I, I would like to say that in Radadesh in Belgium, they have even more uh, humanities uh, and less, less natural sciences Although all their reports, they're very important and uh, we follow with great uh, uh, great interest. Uh, like here we have um, 
uh, Dmitry Popov, who will be who is the director of BI in Russia, and uh, we study all these reports, and uh, we were very much uh, thankful for all the immense job that that uh, different uh, scholars are doing. It's very important. Just to, to but but only one report by Sita D. Muni was on natural sciences. This is the latest one that I found. Uh, so uh, I, I would like to congratulate BI in Florida. They've uh, found a gold mine since uh, cosmology is the vast topic you can never cover in full, like like all our universe, you can never understand it fully. So we can start a natural singularity, vacuum bubbles, conditions before the Big Bang. So many issues uh, we found in uh, wonderful reports uh, in the program, and. Uh, and of course, uh, uh, Richard Thompson, his success story, I think he's, uh, he's uh, maybe one of the uh, most successful scientists, scientific figures in natural sciences because of his very erudite, his scholarly, and he's, uh, like Maharaj previously told, he is offered this integra integrative uh, hermeneutics and which allowed many uh, devotees to rationalize uh, this rather uh, mythological worldview of Bhagavata Purana. And his other works, they're also very significant. Uh, for example, the study of nature, of, of time and space, again, uh, information theory and uh, divine causation, uh, the world of virtual reality. I think this is uh, these are the topics that have to be they have to be covered in the future as well. And even such um, works as, as alien identities and forbidden archaeology and hidden history of human race, which are rather, may sound uh, like marginal in for the society, some non-scientific non still, they, uh, they collected a lot of uh, media attention. And uh, in, in terms of PR, sometimes we can regard uh, science as a sort of PR instrument of public relation because it's very difficult to present Krishna consciousness uh, these days so if you use um, science uh, sometimes uh, these scientific views they may be wrong of course, of course science never gives you any the absolute knowledge but uh, now these days science it's the best instrument for public relations so uh, these books they prove to be they've collected a lot of uh, a lot of reports and uh, and, and and they were in the center of attention. Maybe they are one of the most uh, known, uh, except for Prabhupada's books, uh, most known in in the and got the, the most the, the most coverage in in media. And this, they are therefore successful for this reason. Though I, I personally think that these topics they are not really scientific, and uh, I, I, I myself I wouldn't uh, start this yet. I, I'm always in awe how do the karma, like yesterday, he's, he always find uh, different uh, facts and uh, makes us think that uh, these interpretations of uh, of indigenous people, like in Australia, they they're real and uh, they really subsisted for three hundred thousand years. Uh, I, I would like to <clears throat> note that the report of um, uh, Australian scholars uh, Zambon and Echner uh, impressed me very much. Uh, they spoke about Vaishnavism, and evolutionism, and ambiguities, uh, and, and, and in general, Darwin's skepticism in ISKCON. Quote, Hare Krishna movement has disseminated flower of an anti-evolutionist media since its inception in 1966, the major of contemporary scon materials are vehemently opposed to evolution. Yet they, they suppose that there are cases that suggest that the complex Vaishnava response to evolution includes Bhaktivinoda, Bhaktivedanta Swami, Bhakti Sarup Damodara. And again, Dr. Karma often speaks that uh, such uh, the, the word origin cannot be explained simply by creation. You need uh, a complex approach, which includes evolution. And again, I like Purov Paksha approach taken by from the annals of Indian philosophy by CTD. He'll, I think he'll be speaking next. 
So let's not, my ideas, we shouldn't turn BI into a mouthpiece of Indian nationalism. One of the, uh, still one of the high rank is gone official, uh, officials, he, when we asked him about the opinion, how should we relate to, and to, uh, to evolution theory, he told us, you may relate to evolution theory as a belief system, it's a religion. I don't think that such sarcastic attitude is helpful for BI or is gone. So uh, my recap, not all Vedic is scientific. We can remember this, uh, this issue of uh, Triveda and Chaturveda. Shall we consider Atharva Veda real Veda or not? So uh, there was a beautiful uh, report, uh, uh, talk of uh, Ravi Gupta. He explained all the uh, subtleties uh, of this issue. And Indian BI with the agenda of Hindu pride is rather parochial. I don't think it's a good standard for BI uh, for uh, science religion relationship. Vedic means a path of continuous relation, intuition, and inference. That 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 was the the Ravi Gupta's report. Quality humanities helped to explore Vedic science. Again, this Krishna Kshatra Swami was uh, just telling the question. same things. And yeah, I'm getting. And BI is doing a great job of balancing between Vedic and scientific. So the Buddha proved the prudent commuting between Vedic and scientific and evolution model doesn't oppose to Vedic worldview. I hope that saves some time. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, I see people there in the hall. In Florida, that, uh, they all came from Gordon, I think. Gordon Festival. That did, in fact, save some time. Thank you very much. So now I really have to reevaluate my claims of personality. Although I'm sure this will. Sure yeah, yeah, karate techniques work. Yeah. Yes. <laughs>